Welcome back to part two in the how to get your railjack guide. Starting off, I'm going to assume you've done everything from part one and have completed building the first part of your railjack, the fuselage. The next place Cephalon Psi will be sending you is Earth to collect the propulsion system. This mission is just like the previous missions, and spoiler alert, it's just going to be like this for every other mission in the quest. Mobile defense for days. After collecting the propulsion system, head back to your clan's dry dock and begin researching it. You will need 1 million credits, 60 of the new resource carbides, 1000 cryotic, 30 orican cells, and 20,000 nanospores. If you need help farming carbides, I'll put a link somewhere in this video. After waiting 12 hours, Cephalon Psi will direct you to the next part located on Lua. This time you'll be picking up a port in Asal, and although it's the same mobile defense mission, you're going to be fighting multiple sentients or battleists, so be prepared. After collecting the port in Asal, head back to your clan's dry dock and begin researching it. You will need 1 million credits, 60 of the new resource carbites, 5,000 circuits, 27,000 alloy plate, and 200 control modules. After waiting another 12 hours, Cephalon Psi will direct you to the next part located on Venus. If you haven't noticed already, the enemies will start to get more numerous and difficult as the quest progresses. Once you've collected the Starboard Nasal, head back to your clan's dry dock and begin researching it. You will need 1 million credits, 100 of the new resource pustrels, 500 field drawn samples, 50 morphics, and 35 neurodes. If you need help farming for pustrels, I'll leave a link somewhere in the video. That's all for part 2. When you're ready, click on part 3 to finish building your railjack.